Holmes, you simply have to face up to it. You need to have a serious discussion with Kate about her origins. I can't. No more excuses. She will learn soon enough that Alice is leaving. This other hidden secret. She will not forgive you. She does not need to know why. No? So she will blame you for Alice's departure. Is that what you want? No. I, I certainly... It's as Kate said. I, I always do the wrong thing where she's concerned. Now look here. I'll take care of your case once we're back at Baker Street. Cabby, why have we stopped? The road to the square is blocked, sir. Why? There's been a bad road accident. Oh, splendid. We'd better hurry. There may be injured who need help. He has stopped breathing. There's no heartbeat. His pupils are constricted, but they are moving. He is still still alive. I must act quickly to save him. Thank goodness. This man will live. Holmes, don't just stand there. Do something. to a safer area, sir. Please! Help! I would have died if not for you.
There are no wounds or injuries. I'd better call for Watson. See no visible injuries. Perhaps I could use ammonia. Oh, my head. Don't worry, I'm okay. Don't worry, I'm okay. Oh, my shoulder. I'm a doctor. Will you allow me to look at your shoulder? Ah. Oh. Thank you for your help. Somebody! Find a way to feed this bomb. Please help me, my leg. My name is Dr. Watson. Let me examine you. Ah, it hurts. There's some extreme bruising. No bones appear to be broken. I think that an improvised bandage will do for now. One moment, and I'll fetch what I need. Now, let me apply the bandage. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Doctor. That feels better. Thank you, Doctor. Holmes, it appears the police have arrested someone. Perhaps it is the person responsible for this disaster. Go! Oh, you're talking nonsense! Insulting a police constable, eh? That's quite enough. What's happening here, constable? Mr. Holmes, this gentleman here is the fellow who built the scaffolding which collapsed and caused this accident. That ain't true. How were you hurt? This hammer hit me on the leg. How? Oh. It flew out from the scaffolding I put up. When the damn thing collapsed, the hammer flew out and coshed me leg. You were standing over there at the time. Oh, aye. Yeah, that's right. So it would not have been possible for him to bring the scaffolding down, Constable? Perhaps it was poorly constructed. Oh, right. Yes, of course. And what made it fall? Perhaps it was you, waving around that rotten stick of yours. You'll wind up getting a taste of it if you carry on like this. One moment, Constable. The scaffolding here has been entirely dislodged. It is unlikely that this disaster could have been the fault of this gentleman. Allow me to inspect the area. And if you could possibly be of use, close off the surrounding section. Do not grant anyone access, nor allow them to leave. Is that quite clear? Absolutely, Mr. Holmes.
This accident is a little unusual. I need to concentrate on the details. I must include all the participants in the accident sequence. cab hit the scaffold and caused it to fall. This cab was set on fire by the explosion at the lamp. This jaunting... Those wardrobes fell like dominoes. Might I ask you some questions regarding the accident? It all happened so quickly. Good day to you, sir. Would you mind answering some questions? I'm investigating this accident. Are you the driver of this cart? Yeah. I was transporting vegetables from my farm to the London market. What can you tell me about the accident? Oh, I don't know. There was a collision, I felt the ground, and I come over all dizzy. What did you collide with? Um, that contraption up in front of me. He stopped all of a sudden, and I tried to avoid him, but I wasn't quick enough. Do you have any idea what might have caused this cab to stop so sharply? No, no idea. A puddle. This technical cab was involved in this tragic accident. A the old gas lamps in this square have been upgraded to electricity. A puddle of water and electricity. A deadly combination. I won't be able to release it with my phone. That's it. This carriage was struck by the scaffold when it fell. Might I ask you some questions regarding the accident? Please. Not now. I'm in shock. Might I ask you some questions regarding the accident? It all happened so quickly. There was an explosion and my horse startled and threw me back against those wardrobes. Might I ask you some questions regarding the accident? No, you can't. Go away. Celebratory bunting. A dead driver, another victim of the explosion. This horse was blinded by the flag, causing it to bolt into the window. The overturned lamps may well have caused the fire and explosion. A common fate of an uncommon location. This mechanism played a part in the accident, I'm sure.
That's it. I believe I've enough information about this accident. Now let's recreate the sequence of events. That's it. The technical cab's sudden halt caused this disaster, but the lamppost fell down afterwards. So why did the cab stop? There's a metal strap. This cab was painted recently. There is some text underneath the paint here. Could be important. I'll need to find a way to remove this fresh paint. Rasco. Yes, I know him. He's a small-time local criminal. Some kind of solvent. A piece of fabric drenched in... Underground Electric Railways Company of London. This crank has been turned. There is some electrical wiring here beneath the manhole.
not seen such a device before. The electrical charge which affected the technical cab came from here. I can see the technical cab very well from here. An open bottle of cheap, a single glass. Holmes, I was looking for you. I have an idea about the accident. Never mind. This one is murder. What? What? You? You're a murderer, You're right? off your head. Are you sure, Holmes? Oh, yes. A murder and an accident, because the killer, by electrocuting the cab, created this chaos. And so this multiple crash is now our great chance. Our great chance? Of what, Holmes? The culprit could not have planned for this to happen, don't you see? And it is possible that he is still here due to the prompt arrival of the police. Now I see five men who could be our murderer. Let us take a look at the map. I've not seen a trap. 
Constable, I suspect three people here. Take them to Scotland Yard for questioning. As long as I don't leave empty-handed, all's good and well. I know that look, Holmes. Have you found something new? That's right. In order to trap the cab, the killer must have known the precise route it would take. Or even, that could suggest the cab must have set out not far from here, in this very street, perhaps. Remarkable. Holmes, I'm terribly sorry, but I must go to the hospital now to help tend to the wounded. I understand, Watson. But don't forget our earlier discussion. Hmm? About Kate. Ah, oh, Mr. Holmes, we have a slight problem. What happened? One of the suspects, Mr. Reginald Butcher, has escaped. It was after we asked him to put his belongings in the evidence room. I'm sorry. How did he escape? Um, he hit me in the face. Took me by surprise, you know, otherwise I... Uh... Of course. That's all? Just before he left the yard, he shouted, Sorry, I'll come back later. Sorry, I'll come back later. He could have said that without punching me. Is Inspector Lestrade here? No, he will be absent for a couple of days. Can we keep this incident between us? Good day for you, Mr. Holmes. A book. Karl Heinzen's 1848. Electrical wire. This terrible passage is apparently appreciated by Garrett. Thick leather gloves. My life has changed thanks to Pastor Gordon. Whiskey. Murad. Quite a popular brand of... The initials M... This letter from yesterday perhaps explains why Butcher was in such a hurry. Reginald Butcher had problems with his... Ch this pen is an expensive one. Reginald Butcher is fond of... Please, escort the... Good day to you. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and I am assisting the police with their investigation. I'm Benjamin Fowler, and I was arrested by mistake. I swear it. You have not been arrested, Mr. Fowler. You are here as a witness. Oh, but I saw nothing. I swear. Let me go.
Could you tell me what you were doing at the scene of the accident? I was working on the square's statue. Do you ever work with electricity? Yes, sometimes. I repair electric lampposts, but I'm not a specialist. I swear it. It's new, isn't it? And complex and dangerous. I understand. Mr. Holmes, I know you're a great detective and you understand me, so please let me go. I know nothing. I swear... Yes, you swear it. I know. Mr. Fowler, does the name Rasco ring any bells with you? First time I ever heard it. I swear. But your tattoo resembles his. You are in his gang, are you not? Um, um... Uh, no. It, it was a long time ago. I already forgot. I swear it. I just picked a few pockets for him when I was a young fellow. But I ain't proud of what I did. All my family, my parents, my brothers, dogs and cats all died when I was a lad. I wouldn't have survived otherwise. Please, escort... Good day to you, sir. My name is Sherlock Holmes. Thomas Garrett. Why am I here? <coughs> you are a witness to murder. Of course. Well, it wouldn't be the first time that the police jailed an innocent man in order to close a case. No one has been charged yet. Yet? You have a severe cough. Are you suffering? It's only a cold. <coughs> More questions, Your Honour? Uh, let me think. Did you perhaps see anything in particular during or after this disaster? Yes. I saw part of your bourgeoisie burn up and explode. It was spectacular. Why did you remain in the square? Why not seek shelter? Like the rest of the sheep, there were some wounded comrades, workers. I wanted to help them. Do you have any electrical knowledge? How do you know about that? Are you a mind reader? <coughs> there are electrical wires amongst your belongings. Clever. Yes, I'll teach electrics to my comrades, since I'm currently without paid work. I'm self-taught, so we're not as dumb as you might think. And I don't want to work for bosses anyway. It's a mistake, I swear it. I shouldn't be here. The belongings of the victims, Rasco and his acolyte. A Webley revolver. Rasco is fond of licorice. Huh. A normal pocket. A standard deck of playing cards. A police report about Rasco. He's only a minor criminal. I'm apparently in the children. Merrill Butcher. Admission file at Karolinska University Hospital in Stockholm.
Mr. Butcher's wife. A young woman lost her life. Mr. Reginald Butcher, I've come from Scotland Yard. Might we talk? All right, but not too loudly. She's finally asleep. Is she your daughter? My pretty little Mel. She's very ill. Now look, I'm sorry I ran, but I had to see Dr. Blowberry today and the policeman wouldn't listen. Don't worry, I understand now. Can she be cured? It'll take a long time, but I'm confident that we'll win this fight. I can't bear to think otherwise. Yes, probably just a question of money. What are you talking about? It's a question of willpower, and my daughter will win. I do hope so, although the treatment at the Karolinska University Hospital is very expensive. Ah, um, yeah, it's our only hope. Thanks to the good Dr. Blowberry, she finally has a bed. We're going out next week. It's our last chance. Do you have children? Yes, I have a daughter too. We'd sacrifice our lives for our children, would we not? Yes. Of course, yes. What do you do for a living, Mr. Butcher? I... I work at the office of the Underground Electric Railways Company. Then you must be familiar with electrical devices. I am indeed. Why do you ask? It is of no consequence, but tell me, what are the reasons behind the problems you're experiencing at work? Problems? What do you mean? You have already received a written warning. Yes. I'm often late to work. My boss doesn't understand my situation. It's difficult since my daughter became ill. I see. Coincidentally, we found one of your company's cabs in the square where the accident occurred. Really? Why was it there? I have no idea. Do you? No. But a week ago, we had a technical cab stolen, along with its tools. Do you think that could be the one? It's possible. Meryl's asleep. This is an absolute disaster. Mud. Oof. Smells bad. The lock was forced. A trail of mud goes through the entire room.
A workshop. Saleable. Mud. Oof. Smells bad. It looks as though the carpet was placed here intentionally. Pneumatic drill, the same as the one that we found. Mmm! <laughs> 
Red powder. Given the circumstances, most probably iron oxide. Magnesium strip. Metal powder. So, it was the goal of Rasco's gang to rob the bank. The thieves have opened almost all of the deposit boxes. They must have taken a great many valuables. An old map of the sewers with a red cross. The thieves have opened almost... Metal rings. There you a banknote. Dry, so all of the licorice has been eaten. The licorice was found both at the sewers and amongst Rascal's belongings. Murad. Quite a popular brand of cigarette. This cigarette stub is dry. It was discarded fairly recently. The tobacco's aroma is still strong. It's uh, sweet and nutty. These barrels are empty and un... The thieves used these barrels for the loot I need to warn Lestrade about this.
Thomas Garrett, we are arresting you for the double murder of Rasco and his accomplice in addition to the bank robbery. Bravo. <coughs> Case closed. Exactly what the bourgeoisie in power expects from you. Don't bother to look any further. Well, if you have a solid alibi, I should like to hear it. What for? <coughs> Small people such as us are eternal victims of... <coughs> a corrupted justice. Do your duty then, lackey. Thank you.